Hey guys, it's Kylie Draws here. To the viewers who celebrate, I hope you all had a good Christmas. Like I said in my most recent community post, here is the video that I promised of drawing Kylie in six different styles from various animated shows. I decided to choose a few styles myself with the help of some friends, and I also want to say thank you to Salsa Says for suggesting that I should draw Kylie in the style of Alice Osman, the author of Heartstopper, and many other equally amazing books. They also suggested drawing Kylie in the style of Donna Terrace, the creator of The Owl House, a popular show on Disney Channel. I decided to skip ahead in the footage to doing the shading and background color for my own art style, because I think we need to get to the point which is drawing Kylie in other art styles. If you want to see how I draw in my way, check out some of my other videos on the channel. The first style I'll be doing is the style seen in the Heartstopper comics. The style is quite simple, but I really like how Osman draws the eyes. They're really simple, but easy to convey emotion. The style wasn't too hard to draw, and I had fun studying it. The colouring also wasn't too complicated. Same with the shading, and I just added simple shadows and a small rim light on the edge. I made the background white to fit in with the more comic style of white backgrounds. And also because I didn't know what to do for a background. Oh, also, I want to wish everyone a Happy New Year. I know it's not exactly New Year's yet, but it's super close to the end of 2023. In my time zone, it's apparently less than 4 hours until midnight by the time that, like, I'm recording this. Probably, most likely not by the time this video is posted. So you guys just don't get confused and stuff. Um, I'm really proud of how far this channel has come this year, and I can't wait to see what next year has in store for us. If you want to join this channel and me on this journey, now would be the best time to subscribe so you don't miss out. style is the style of the Owl House. I had to search up a 
few more references when drawing Kylie in this style, especially when I started shading. It is a simple style, and I liked how the eyes looked, but it's just that things can get a little complicated when you haven't watched any of the shows mentioned. Um, I'll talk about it a little bit later in the video. You will also notice that I will talk about how I like the eyes in almost every single style shown in this video. It's just because the eyes in every single art style are really unique, and it's usually the first thing I notice when looking at others' art. The Owl House style is more rounded in its shapes than the Heartstopper style, and my own art style. This is quite noticeable in the face shape. The overall style is actually closer to my own style that I use when I draw chibis with a more rounded face and larger eyes. I, notice, I also notice that the line art is thinner than the past two styles. The colouring stayed the same, but the shading was more simplified. I also don't know why I made the background blue. I was kind of looking through some already made fan kind of like they draw themselves in the style, if you know what I mean. And a lot of them kind of used the colours of like the I think it's called like the abilities that the people have in the universe of the Owl House. I don't really know, but I think the blue just looked really nice with the hair. Um, so yeah, that's probably why I added it. I still don't know though why I added the blue in the background. Um, but yeah. The third style is the one from the show called Gravity Falls. I'm pretty sure most of you guys have heard of it. Um, the art was drawn by Alex Hirsch. I'm pretty sure that's how you say their name. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, uh, and Robert Trin Corey was the person who designed the characters for the show. Oh, um, by the way, apart from Heartstopper, of which I read all the books slash webcomic um, things on webtoons, and I also watched all the episodes available on Netflix, I have never watched any of these shows before. But I really want to watch a few, if not all, of the shows mentioned in this video, because they all look really interesting and their art styles are just also unique and I just really really want to watch them. <laughs> but yeah, um, this style has very big eyes and very rounded shapes. This was a bit of a challenge to draw Kylie's hair because her hair is more sharp on the ends so I had to improvise a little when drawing the hair. I think it turned out okay though. It does look a little rushed but, you know just gotta work with what you have. <laughs> For the colouring, there was just base colours and little to no shading, so this process didn't take a long time to do. Also, the line art for this style is also quite thin, like the Owl House style. I think it's like even thinner than the Owl House style, I have no idea. But I used very thin line art and remembered to keep my shapes very round. Also, I will mention this again later, but the eyebrows for this style are quite thin and they're usually just one line. I think some characters do have more pronounced eyebrows, but I'm not too sure about that. Turns out I lost the footage for when I did the art style of Hilda. This is going to be very 
inconvenient. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna quickly go through the art style of Hilda while I draw the art style of Scott Pilgrim. Um, but yeah, I'll just go through it really quickly. Uh, the fourth style is the style of Luke Pearson, the artist for the Netflix animated series Hilda. After looking through some references, I really like the simple cartoony art style with the textured line art and vibrant colours and shading. The art style overall just really stood out to me in a good way, and I think I'll study this art style a little more in my own time. Again, this style was very rounded and I had to improvise with Kylie's hair like in the Gravity Fall style. The large rounded eyes are also really cool and the op overlapping line art is really cool too. I liked how the eyes kind of overlapped over the hair and like kind of the colouring didn't really fall over, I just think it was really cool. Um, I also saw that trend in the Owl House style too. Um, yeah, for the colouring I used the same colours that I used for Kylie except I turned the saturation up a little to fit in with the vibrant colours of the Hilda series. For the shading, I also made it more saturated. I think I captured the style of Hilda quite well and I'll definitely look into it more. You can see the finished piece, like how in all my other videos I show the finished piece, but you can kind of pause the video and have a look at the Hilda style because I don't think I showed it properly in this really fast speed draw. And also because I lost the footage, I'm still really mad if I lost the footage to it. I really, really like drawing that style. It was actually quite fun. I think it was my favorite out of all of them. Um, but yeah, the last style I'll be drawing Kylie in is from the Scott Pilgrim animated series, which is based on the Scott Pilgrim graphic novels written and drawn by Brian Leo O'Malley. That was a small handful to say, but I'm pretty sure I nailed that. A few of my friends watched the series and according to them, they really like it and one suggested for me to draw Kylie in the art style of the show. So yeah, here we are. This art style has very round shapes too. And while there are many different head shapes, I went for the head shape that Scott, that Scott has. You know, the main character in the animated series. Um, which is very round like a circle. The eyes are also very round and they have big pupils that are usually like blacked out. I don't think any of the characters have pronounced eye colors. I'm not too sure, I haven't really looked into it. Um, but yeah, uh, the hair is actually like my usual style and it isn't very rounded on the tips. I also want to say that the eyes, personally, I think the eyes are very iconic. I think they're very recognizable and yeah, I think they kind of stand out more. Uh, yeah, something I also noticed with the style is that the eyebrows are a lot thicker and yeah, I guess more pronounced than other styles, similar to the eyebrows and references I used when drawing in the Owl House style. The colouring didn't really change much, but the shading I did was more saturated, like the shading in the Hilda style. I used a more orangey tone to make the shading a lot warmer. I did do that same kind of more warmer shading with the other styles, but I guess I just made this style and also the Hilda style more saturated because that's kind of what most of the references showed and I think it really makes the colors pop and it really shows the difference between all the different shapes and stuff. Uh, yeah, oh sorry for the buzz, <laughs> that was my phone. Um, but yeah, and that's kind of it. Um, here are all the six different styles. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video, and I also wish you all a happy new year. This year has been amazing, and I really hope the next year will be just as amazing, if not better. As this video is being posted, I'm pretty sure that I'll be live on Twitch as my other Sona Coffee for the New Year's countdown. I know that because of time zones, this countdown will still be early for most of you, but I hope that you all will join us just for a bit to say hi. We'll be doing games like Gothic Phone and other fun things while the timer ticks away to midnight. If you're thinking of joining us, I'll put the link to my Twitch channel in the description of this video. Anyways, that's all I have to say for now. 
I'll see you all next year in 2024. Until then, bye!